Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTech. It's Basil here with an NVIDIA Shield tablet running with Android 5.0 Lollipop. What's very cool about the Shield tablet is, aside from the pricing and the hardware and everything, it launched in the US with something called the NVIDIA Grid. This allowed for console or PC grade gaming on your tablet via streaming, effectively the Netflix of gaming. That's what NVIDIA is pegging this as. What you can expect is the UK to get this service as of around December the 2nd. You can take a look at the tablet to kick things off, and you can also see there's Lollipop running on here. That's because, thanks to the fact NVIDIA's kept everything super stock on this, it's gonna get a Lollipop upgrade over the air very, very soon. We can prove it's Lollipop by jumping right into the settings, going into the About the Tablet section, pressing Android Lollipop to our heart's content, and then there you have it, a nice big Lollipop popping up on screen. Tap that through, get more colors, and we can also play the Lollipop Flappy Birds game, which we can be absolutely abysmal at right there. If we jump out of that now that we've died a couple of times, we can talk you around the user interface. Again, highlighting the real key points within Lollipop. Pull down notification tray. It's a two tiered notification tray rather than two trays. Um, once we swipe that up, we can also see the multitasking pane is vertically scrolling just like the two tiered notification bar. And you can also find the, applic the application drawer. So the multitasking pane um, can also showcase individual tabs within a web browser, which is a really nice feature in Lollipop. Featuring Google's launcher, Google Now launcher, um, it activates Google Now with an OK Google command, although in this loud room, you probably won't be able to work it. You can also see you can always ap organize applications on your home screen into folders or standalone applications with a long press, allowing you to swap out widgets and wallpapers. So that really is the extent of Lollipop. It's been kept very nice and stock on NVIDIA's Tegra K1 powered tablet. As far as key ports go, you have a mini HDMI port to the left hand side of the Shield tablet, which means you can output content to a TV very, very easily. That's gonna be perfect because if you pair it with an NVIDIA Shield controller, you'll be able to play those PC grade games with a PC grade experience. NVIDIA boasts minimal latency for those games. We have played one and we can definitely attest to the fact that it's good. How good it is, we'll have to wait for a full review to let you know how that fares. Hopefully you've enjoyed our quick hands-on video with the Shield with Lollipop. We can quickly jump into, before we go, NVIDIA Shield Hub, and it'll illustrate the kind of user interface you can expect from the whole um, experience of playing games that A, aren't necessarily on your device, and B, playing games that are, because there are a lot of Android games that are optimized really beautifully to take advantage of the NVIDIA K1 processor and its Kepler GPU, and such as Half-Life 2 and Portal. So that's been a quick hands-on. If you've enjoyed, click like. If you like BTech in general, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.